For the first time in history, the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are both locked on the same interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas. Two of humanity's most powerful eyes, one orbiting Earth, the other a million miles away, are capturing it in visible, ultraviolet, and deep infrared light. Two perspectives, two sets of instruments, one target. Hubble is mapping its coma, the ghostly cloud of gas and dust streaming from the solid core. Webb is reading its spectrum, the chemical fingerprints of an object born around another star. This has never happened before. No interstellar visitor has been studied this way. And there's a reason they're breaking protocol to do it. Hubble and Webb rarely share a target. Their time is too valuable, their missions too different. But 3i Atlas is no ordinary object. On July 21st, 2025, Hubble delivered the clearest image yet, a faint halo stretching tens of thousands of kilometers, hiding a tiny nucleus only a few kilometers wide. It's shedding material at up to the weight of a car every minute. Webb's infrared view sees what Hubble can't. Water ice, carbon-rich dust, silicates, and complex organics. Molecules frozen for over 7 billion years. Together, they're giving us the first full-spectrum profile of a world from another star system. From the first combined data, oddities appeared. The coma's dust doesn't behave normally. Instead of trailing directly away from the sun, part of it angles toward it, as if the particles are too heavy to be pushed by sunlight. The chemical mix Webb detected isn't unusual by itself, but it's pristine, almost untouched by time. Some molecules could predate our sun by hundreds of millions of years. Hubble's images reveal another mismatch. The coma is brighter than models predict, but the nucleus is small. Could the surface be unusually reflective? Or is there something else at work? And then there's the path. Most interstellar visitors come in at steep, random angles. 3i Atlas is only five degrees off the plane of our planets, almost as if it took a deliberate route through the solar system. Three i Atlas is moving at nearly 60 kilometers per second. In weeks, it will slip behind the sun invisible to Earth. Hubble will be blinded. Webb will be forced to turn away. Its perihelion, closest approach to the sun, will happen during this blackout, the very moment its activity could peak. Some spacecraft may have a chance. ESA's JUICE, NASA's Psyche, even a daring proposal to use Juno for a flyby. But all would require fuel sacrifices and risky maneuvers, gambles that mission teams may not take. This isn't just a comet, it's a fragment from another star system, crossing ours once in human history. When it's gone, it's gone. No second chances. Maybe it's exactly what the cautious voices say. An ancient comet, nothing more. Or maybe the clues, the strange dust, the pristine material, the improbable path, are hints of something we don't yet understand. If that's true, the answer might sit hidden in today's data, waiting for someone in the future to notice the pattern. By then, 3i Atlas will be a fading point of light, lost to the void. One day, another interstellar traveler will come, and we'll remember this, the first time our two greatest eyes work together, not on a distant galaxy, but on a lone speck passing through our neighborhood. Because the sky was never empty, it never will be, and now we're finally learning how to see it.